We are back for another year of football. The Saints start the era of Derek Carr. LSU is loaded and should be tuned up under second-year coach Brian Kelly. Nickel State is looking to get back on top with coach Tim Rebo at the helm. The high school teams are eager and ready. Our crew is also back. Our very own Cajun Cannon, Bobby A. Bear. Well, he's offering in-depth analysis and game strategies. Former All-Pro Rich Maudie brings his candid talk back for another year. Mike Dettelier will offer his great insight to the sports world each and every week. Harry McCullough will showcase a special guest of the week. Our high school expert, Stan Gravois. He'll be on hand to discuss high school football standings. Chuck Bork takes over the question of the day this year as he puts his stellar law practice on hold for just five minutes. And our weekly Stay to Play raffle will reward a lucky winner. This year, our naming sponsors will be part of the show. Rouse's Markets, official supermarket of the New Orleans Saints. Alford & Associates, for all of your insurance needs. St. Martin & Bork, attorneys at law, know your rights. Some perennial corporate sponsors are also on hand. South Louisiana Bank is better when we bank together. Terraborn General Health System, Community Sports Institute. Barker Honda, the Barker family tradition of quality. Terraborn Churches United Food Bank. And from Lafouche Parish, Louisiana's Cajun Bayou. Now, from the Eugene and Lorraine Falls studios in home Louisiana, buckle up your chin straps. It's time for Sports on the Bayou. Hey. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Sports on the Bayou. It's our Halloween edition. Mike to tell you, along with the Cajun Cannon, Bobby A. Bear, Rich Marty, and he's still, we're waiting for him to put on his Halloween costume. We'll be back with more Sports on the Bayou. Sports on the Bayou is brought to you by Rouse's Markets official supermarket of the New Orleans Saints, Alford & Associates for all of your insurance needs, and St. Martin & Bork Attorneys at Law. Know your rights. When we come back, Saints talk. You won't want to miss this. Don't go away. Here at Rouse's, we have our own brands of products, which you'll find down every aisle of our stores. These are the best quality at the best price. They compare to the national brands we sell, but at a lower cost. Most are made right here, but we travel the world too. And we personally taste test and guarantee every item. So if our name's on the label, you can trust it's good. Rouse's brand, best quality at the best price. Every day, thousands of people hit the road heading towards their dreams. But sometimes those dreams collide with a harsh reality. Auto accidents with 18 wheelers can change lives in an instant. That's why you need the experience and expertise of St. Martin and Bork. With over 50 years of experience, St. Martin and Bork have fought for justice for the victims of truck accidents. If you've been in a wreck with an 18 wheeler, know your rights. Call St. Martin and Bork today to schedule your free consultation. Mmm, mmm, you gotta try this. And some of those. Ooh, and definitely that. You won't be disappointed, but just know you can only get it here. Up and down Louisiana's Cajun Bayou in Lafouche Parish. Y'all come visit? We're just 35 miles south of New Orleans. Hungry? <laughs> Let's eat! Sports on the Bayou is also brought to you by our corporate sponsors. South Louisiana Bank. It's better when we bank together. Terraborn General Health Systems and their Community Sports Institute. Barca Honda, the Barker family tradition of quality. Terraborn Church's United Food Bank. And from Lafouche Parish, Louisiana's Cajun Bayou. Now, back to Sports on the Bayou. We're back here on Sports on the Bayou, guys. Uh, the Saints took care of business Sunday, 38-27 over the Colts and what we've talked about. <coughs> Finally, some Red zone efficiency, you score in touchdowns. This is what we've been waiting for. You got it this coming, uh, this past Saturday. Now, your defense didn't play too well against the run in the first half. They shut it down in the second half for the most part. But Jonathan Taylor, he went off on them, in the, especially in the first quarter. Yeah. I, think, I think you got to give coaching staff some credit here. Where they got they got creative. They got Tyson back in the in the loop again. He he had a great game, but kept him off balance a little bit. And they did some. What did you say, Tyson? Uh, Taysom Hill. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, Tyson. I was thinking of the heavyweight fighter, Tyson Hill. <laughs> 
I was thinking of chicken, I'm, and I am, oh, okay, I am a turkey. Hey, that's pretty good. I identify as a chicken, but I look like a turkey. I know that. It's okay. Just bear with me for this one. But, the, you know, it was good to see. It was refreshing to see some different things offensively out there to shake things up. And the big playability of Rashid Shaheed. Oh, he's that poor guy he's, there. He's my MVP right now. He was the, the second-string corner, but I'm not sure uh, the first-string corner would have done too much better. He was a rookie. And so, man, it, it was rough. Yeah. Well, uh, Rich, uh, speaking of uh, Taysom instead of Tyson Hill, Taysom Hill, <laughs> yeah. Taysom Hill uh, all I know is uh, this is not an opinion. This is a fact <laughs> that uh, this is a big enough sample size. Do you know if we give Taysom uh, Hill the football seven carries or more and he already gains 40-plus yards, the Saints are 16-1? and one. So I'm like, I don't know. We play in the Bears. We play in the Vikings. Don't Taysom Hill has to have at least seven carries? I mean, that's when he's got Mike, 20 touches. That's a big sample size when you look at like 16 and one. When you give him this is not him throwing it or catching it. Man, my thing in the red zone, running. how difficult it is for that. And you know it's coming and you still can't stop it. No, you, that's you, what's impressive. You have to acknowledge this. Uh, listen, you got to score, and we finally scored in the red zone. Uh, but again, uh, this is not an opinion. This is what occurred. Uh, it's all like uh, records, or I should say, a uh, season high. You look at it, uh, they amassed a season high uh, 38 points, uh, 511 yards, and then uh, season high rushing 161. Well, well, Mike, if we keep doing that, you look at the last three games, you know how the offense and how the league is structured or just the rules. The last three games, we've had 430 yards, 407, and 511. We have 1,348 total yards the last three games. So people want to say, like, uh, well, is the NFL and all that? Uh, no. If you look at strength of schedule, uh, uh, then the fans need a bitch. If we don't beat the Bears and the Vikings, they don't have Justin Jefferson. They're not going to have Kirk Cousins. I know they're going to do that skull chant and all that. They're going to get all excited in Minnesota. We should be able to handle business. It does matter who you who, play. who's playing and when you play them. But you look at right now, you know what I'm a little worried about? Uh, we want to brag about the Saints and where we're at right now. Maybe we should be 6-2 and two instead of 4-4. Four and four. But the four wins have uh, come against teams that have a combined 9-21 and 21 record. Well, that's their problem. So, so I, 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 I'm just that's telling you, right. their problem. So, going forward, that's why, uh, if not now, then when? The Saints, if they don't make the postseason, I've said this over and over again, uh, now, I don't know, uh, 9 and 8, uh, you would think at least 10 and 7. You got to win the NFC South. You're hosting a playoff game. If they don't, then everybody got to get fired. Uh, no, no, no. Well, I've yeah. said that well, many Rich, a many times. You're never going to have a schedule like uh, this again in right. our lifetime. I, 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 I agree. Hold the schedule, uh, who, who do we got left to play that's a winning team? The Lions? Oh, we play it's the Atlanta Lions. twice. That's all we huge. have left. Yeah. No, we playing losing NFL teams. I know it's so the NFL. So win. That, that's no, the thing. Win. I don't care well, how you do it. The Saints should run the table, and they might want to have a parade and all that. <laughs> but, 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 but the thing is, I, I'm going to slow my roll because, hell yeah, they should win. They're an average team in an under average division of conference. Right. <laughs> Uncle Rico goes back to pass. Uh, Garner Minshew throws it downfield. Mike Pittman uh, in for the score. And right over the top, Alvin Kamara <laughs> kept his balance, goes in for the score. Oh, and look at the balance there. Yeah. Um, Alvin Kamara, though, he's um, uh, Christian McCaffrey. I think they won in well, 1 8. And then, you know, the Colts here, they jump all over the Saints, 17 to 7, but they fought back, and this was a big a reason why you got back into it. Taysom Hill in for the score, it making it 17-14. Have y'all ever seen a player like Taysom Hill in the NFL? Uh, there isn't. Uh, they're sorry, you got to go back you 100 to, years yeah. like Jim Thorpe. No, 40 years. You could go back 40 years. Were you I like do. that, Rich? I was, I was exactly <laughs> yeah. like that. Not quite as fast, you know, but I was close. And this, I think, was a pivotal point in the game. Without a doubt. Uh, Paulson Adebo comes up with interception where the coach were going to get points. It might not have been seven, but it at least been three. And it sort of swung the momentum at that point in time. The one thing we do in this year, we're taking away the football. And then, and again, ouch. That Kamara goes in for the score and makes it 28-20. And then Taysom goes in, gets a touchdown. 
but it ain't ever easy, you know. And, and one thing with Gordon Minshew, you got to give him credit. Man, he gives you everything he's got. Not that he's got a ton, but, man, he just throws this up me of and comes in for a a, a, He's a lot like, like Fitzpatrick. Yeah. Oh, it's like, like it. Uncle Rico. It's hard to, uh, to, uh, to bet against Uncle Rico. <laughs> yeah, 38-27, Saints with a W. Moving on now to the Bears, who are now playing – uh, Tyson Bajan, 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 uh, who's undrafted free agent he went from to Shepherd Herding School, like Shepherd College, Division Three, wasn't he? But his yeah. dad's like yeah. the arm wrestling, wrestling champ, champ or something there, right, right and right left. left. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. just think of that. You know, oh man, I, I'm bad. You know, I take him. Uh, you know, I'm left-handed. Uh, no, if you get in a fight, you get in a fight, fight with him, you ain't gonna win. And then you don't get shot. And you remember Derlin Moore for three or four years? Derlin was the arm wrestling champ. Who was a stud? He's a farmer, farm boy. Yeah, yeah, he's a stud. Good the bad. Bears, their offensive line is so, so bad. Defensively, they did pick up Montez Sweat today in a trade with Washington. Yeah, my, what do you think about that? I mean, well, I, mean, I hope you, they have long term plans to sign him. Okay. Because he can be a free agent after this year. So they, they must have something worked out as a long term yeah, deal. But the Bears Montez. are the bad news, Bears. They're uh, not very good uh, right they, now. No, if we, if we lose, listen, if we lose to the Bears Sunday, I might quit. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, I might go. Uh, boy, we cannot. No, lose I hope the they don't Bears. call me for post game. No, no, but, no we don't want to do that. Like, we'll start no the way, interview process. There's no way we should lose to the Bears. I, I, I know it's the NFL, and we can occur, and we haven't played well at home. If you look at the last 20 games, we only have eight wins and 12 losses, and we want the dome to be like the old. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Seasons might get mad at me this, but when, when it was the Mercedes Superdome, we won. Seasons, we haven't done anything as of late. Well, it's and the a gamble, fans, right? I can tell you right now, if you go to the game, the odds, the gamble are, every the odds are against you. Yeah. <laughs> if you go to the game, come uh, Sunday at noon, and if they're not playing well, boo. Uh, boo your behind off. Uh, they should boo because we have to take care of business. We should whip the Bears like the Chargers did. I don't know if y'all watched that game. The game is kind of boring. Yes. But how the Chargers took it to the Bears, we should do the same thing. I agree with you. And you got a better defense than with the Chargers. Yes, exactly. you got a better defense. It didn't show up this week, but a week in, week out, this defense has really carried this football team. Yeah. We'll be back with more sports on the Bayou. When we come back, who's in the crowd? Selecting an insurance provider for your business is a big decision. With over 26 years of experience, our offer team is your solution for quality and proven coverage. The customer service you remember from years ago is what we pride our team on. We know how important your company is to the community. From small businesses to large businesses, Alford & Associates can manage your insurance. It's our job. Alford & Associates, benefiting your employees and protecting your business. Here at Rouse's, we have our own brands of products, which you'll find down every aisle of our stores. These are the best quality at the best price. They compare to the national brands we sell, but at a lower cost. Most are made right here, but we travel the world too. And we personally taste test and guarantee every item. So if our name's on the label, you can trust it's good. Rouse's brand, best quality at the best price. Sports on the Bayou is brought to you by St. Martin and Bork Attorneys at Law. Know your rights. Alford and Associates for all of your insurance needs. And by Rouse's Markets, official supermarket of the New Orleans Saints. Now, back to Sports on the Bayou. We're back here on Sports on the Bayou. Martin, I'll throw a tape. Well, look at this crowd. Who's who's in here? I'm not surprised. Thanks for the loan for you. We got a ton of attorneys today. I'm not surprised because pay So remember, it's 40%. Right, Craig? 40% now? He knows who. <laughs> 42? Just make it 50, get it over. <laughs> All right, where's Becky Poole? Come see Becky. She's with the school system. Bob Armstrong gave you permission. She's not in the He said your contract is not in question. Come on, look. Got an empty chair right here. You got to stand on the chair. That's tradition. She doesn't need help. She's in shape. All right. She's, she's not going to fall off. No loss. You got to worry about that. Before we start clapping. I intercepted a phone call last night. Actually, we got a little video, too. Ex-President Donald Trump, Parish President Gordon Dove. They did a little something together. So to get everybody in the spirit, let's roll it in, crew. Wow. <laughs> you can <laughs> <laughs> he went. 
As I said, we've both been dancing all this time. Wow. You can really dance. Wow. You can really dance. He went. He went. They said we've both been dancing all this time. All right, here we go. What if you're a good sport, bro? All right, y'all ready? Everybody fired up. Bobby, Rich, Mike, y'all help her out. All right. Get him going. Here we go. All right. In the house today are three naming sponsors. Keep it going, Lord. Don't let them die on us, all right? Rouse's Supermarket, way on the end. We got a lot of key people over there. We appreciate Rouse's being in power. Our next naming sponsor, Alford and Associates. Raise your hand. They have teamed up with law enforcement today, paying a special tribute to our law enforcement. And then next, Alfred. Oh, well, I did offer it already. St. Martin and Bork. We're going to have Chuck Bork is going to come via satellite today. Oh, big time. Question. We get big time over here. <laughs> now look over here at Louisiana Cajun Bayou next. I don't even recognize them this week. Look at that. They are doing fantastic. They keep picking me up for a prize themselves. All right, we have Terrebonne General. Look at this table, Bobby. You remember a couple of faces at this Oh, table. yes. Oh, yes. Star-studded table. And Stan's going to get with him in a little bit. All right, let's see. Barker Honda. Lester is going to be Harry's featured guest today. Yep. Lester's got a big. His name's going to be big. It's already big. Nichols. <laughs> it's going to be digging out. Laura, come on. Get him up, Laura. Let's go. There we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we have South Louisiana Bank is in the house today. Y'all give them a hand. We appreciate it. We have Terrebonne Churches United later in the program. They are raffling off a 2005 convertible Mercedes. I bought five tickets. I'm hoping I get to push the button. I'm hoping it's my ticket. All right. Now, let's go right behind it. We got Terrebonne Parish President Gordon Dove, along with a lot of the council members, along with the DA's office. Y'all give them a round of applause. Gordy has brought over $1 billion to Terrebonne Parish in eight years for levy systems. That's unprecedented. That's unbelievable. All right, All right. Gordy. Right next to them, we have GIS and we have CIS. We appreciate uh, them being here. And then look, we got Cohen and his crew from Tita. We appreciate Cohen and uh, Bobby. You recognize Bob, our former quarterback at yeah. South of Food, yeah, one of your the, own. He was the real quarterback. Yeah. And we have his crew over there. Oh, and here's the legend back. right here. Oh, we right. have uh, Coach oh, Albert. Skippy, I know you remember yeah, Coach yeah, Albert yeah, from yeah, back yeah. in the day. Huh? <laughs> Coach Spinella. Oh, yeah. Did you ever play against Skippy? I don't think so. Huh? It's a good thing. So you could have put that in the helicopter right away. All right, we have Mr. Donnie here. And of course, at our table, Harry and me, making sure everybody behaves. Harry's going to be talking to Lester once again. So, guess what, Becky? You did good. You see what? I pulled you out your confidence zone, and I bet you feel like you've accomplished something real big today, right? All right, you're free to leave. All right, back to you, Mike. All right, we'll be back with more sports on the bike. Right after the break, LSU talk. Whoa, stick around. It's getting good. Every day, thousands of people hit the road heading towards their dreams. But sometimes those dreams collide with a harsh reality. Auto accidents with 18 wheelers can change lives in an instant. That's why you need the experience and expertise of St. Martin and Bork. With over 50 years of experience, St. Martin and Bork have fought for justice for the victims of truck accidents. If you've been in a wreck with an 18 wheeler, know your rights. Call St. Martin and Bork today to schedule your free consultation. Selecting an insurance provider for your business is a big decision. With over 26 years of experience, our offer team is your solution for quality and proven coverage. The customer service you remember from years ago is what we pride our team on. We know how important your company is to the community. From small businesses to large businesses, Alford and Associates can manage your insurance. It's our job. Alford and Associates, benefiting your employees and protecting your business. Here at South Louisiana Bank, we know the importance of working together as a team. We're always here for you when you need a loan. By the way, 
Here's that crawfish powder you needed. You can borrow it anytime. So whether it's business or personal banking, we do it all. Visit our locations to find out how we can support your financial needs. Good luck with the restaurant. Thank you. And tell your mama thanks for the recipe. Her secret's safe with me. I will. South Louisiana Bank. It's better when we bank together. Sports on the Bayou is brought to you by Rouse's Markets, official supermarket of the New Orleans Saints. Alford & Associates, for all of your insurance needs. And St. Martin & Bork Attorneys at Law. Know your rights. Now, back with more Sports on the Bayou. We're back here on Sports Katrina. We're back here on Sports on the Bayou. Mike to tell you along with the Cajun Cannon, Bobby Abear, Rich Marty. Guys, LSU Alabama week. It's cold outside. It's gumbo time. And you know it's LSU Alabama. No quarterback in the SEC has ever beaten Nick Saban back-to-back -back years. The only quarterback to do it, Drew Brees did it at in the Big Ten at Purdue when in 98 Nick Saban was at Michigan State. But right. no quarterback has done it. Jaden Daniels has that opportunity this Saturday. He's The way he's playing, maybe, maybe not, if they can hold him to under 35 points or so. right? Well, no, LSU got to score 33 they, they gotta, or more right, points. They that, hold, that's uh, the way I Alabama under 35 points? No, and then uh, uh, Jaden Daniels, he can have an unbelievable game and he won't be considered for the Heisman, uh, and they got to win. Because you can't have three losses, Mike. But I think that can occur. And, again, this is not an opinion. Uh, how many times you could say in LSU's history that you got the best offense in the country so far this season uh, through eight games? Uh, they're first in, uh, in scoring, total offense, third down conversion uh, percentage. And we all look at this. Like chunk plays, splash plays, we all like to be entertained. Well, Mike, I don't know if I've ever witnessed this. And uh, whoever charted this, was un it, it's, it's unbelievable. LSU has the most plays over 20 yards, over 30 yards, over 40 yards, and that's because of Jane Daniels. So you look at all those categories, and uh, they lead the country in points. 47 and a half, to me, can they get 30 plus? I think it's going to take that because it's going to be strength versus strength. Alabama's defense versus uh, LSU's offense. Now, Alabama right now, they rank 17th. They're giving up uh, 306 yards a game. Uh, they're 21st against the run, giving up 109, 29 against the pass, uh, 198. And scoring defense, uh, they're 16th, uh, only allowing 16.5 points a game. So I think LSU can double that, 32, 33 points. And, but the thing is, it's caught my attention uh, that they've, hold, uh, they've held, I should say, six of their eight pass foals to 20 points or fewer. But you know what? They ain't played LSU. And they ain't played Jay Daniels. Played that L yeah, they ain't they played, played that LSU Jane offense. Daniels. They ain't played I don't know about LSU's defense. I don't know. No, no, no. They're going to get secondary, picked on. Where they're at. But the only thing is the quarterback at Alabama, do you trust him? I don't. Bob, I anything mean, I short, intermediate, he's off. He can throw the deep ball really well, and LSU's missing their top corner and Zai Alexander. Deuce Chestnut won't play, and it's a litany well, and, and, of and guys. The, and, the thing and is, no Makai Wingo in the middle. Right, that's the key. The, the, the key. I, I think Alabama's offensive line is one of the weakest offensive lines they've had recently. But not having Wingo, he was an All-American. So, so Mason you know who has to step show up? up right here from Terrebonne High School. Mason Smith, you want to get on the radar? How about you kick ass this game? Because, uh, Mike, the sacks, Alabama, I'm telling you, they, I want to say, Mike, they're amongst the worst in giving up sacks. So, LSU, we got to give them the business. The crazy thing about this Alabama team, we sort of knew it going in, but I didn't think it would be this bad. They play a half of football. A lot of times they play a bad first half. We saw it against Tennessee. In the second half. Saw it against Texas A&M. And then they come back in the second half. Even Ole Miss? Uh, the Ole Miss game is similar. Then Arkansas, they play a great first half, and they fall asleep in the second half and gave Arkansas an opportunity to win the game. That is unsaving like <laughs> Normally, you don't see halves of games from Alabama. It goes to show when you don't have the guy that can turn the engine over on the car, uh, it makes a big difference. Like, so I, I can tell you, if they had Bryce, who's not Bryce Young, at, what? At, 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 at I'd, pick, I'd pick Alabama. Alabama would win by uh, double digits. I think 10 points. But the quarterback they have now, uh, not so much. But you can get in a shootout type game, but we all know, uh, not right, whom about look at LSU's defense and what they've given up. So uh, all I know is turnovers, that's always going to come into play. But uh, Jane Daniels and LSU's offense, 
Why we have the best duo receivers? Well, <laughs> when you look at Malik Neighbors, right? And, and Brian you, Thomas Jr. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, when they, I mean, this is on. the game is a Harold Perkins sick em game. Okay, you see the guy who's got the ball? Sick em. All this other stuff that they're trying to do with you, oh, that's great for the NFL. I'm not worried about getting you ready for the NFL. I'm worried about winning this Saturday Make against plays. Alabama. Tackles for loss, uh, sacks, quarterback hurries, all of that. We'll be back with more sports on the Bayou. Don't go away. Harry McCullough coming up shortly with his sports feature of the week. Here at Rouse's, we have our own brands of products, which you'll find down every aisle of our stores. These are the best quality at the best price. They compare to the national brands we sell, but at a lower cost. Most are made right here, but we travel the world too. And we personally taste test and guarantee every item. So if our name's on the label, you can trust it's good. Rouse's brand, best quality at the best price. Every day, thousands of people hit the road heading towards their dreams. But sometimes those dreams collide with a harsh reality. Auto accidents with 18 wheelers can change lives in an instant. That's why you need the experience and expertise of St. Martin and Bork. With over 50 years of experience, St. Martin and Bork have fought for justice for the victims of truck accidents. If you've been in a wreck with an 18 wheeler, know your rights. Call St. Martin and Bork today to schedule your free consultation. Sports on the Bayou is brought to you by Alford & Associates for all of your insurance needs. Rouse's Markets, official supermarket of the New Orleans Saints. And St. Martin & Bork Attorneys at Law, know your rights. Now, back to more Sports on the Bayou. We're back here on Sports on the Bayou. I was going to say the Hall of Famer H, Harry McCullough, but they got two Hall of Famers because Lester, he's a Hall of Famer also. So, uh, H, you got it. That's right. Thanks, Mike. Uh, yeah, Hall of Fame. Uh, He's got the Lester Beamer Battle of the Bayou. It's a big, big soccer match. You, you've been involved with soccer for a long time. Once was a coach there, and and the, and and part of the program in general. Now the the new complex is going to have your name on it too. So it's a great honor for you, right? Thank you. Yes, well, I really I started know. soccer in Terramola Push Brush back in 1972, maybe. One. Cowell Jr. I remember yeah. playing when yeah. he was when he was New playing York. for the yeah. New York. Yeah. Yeah. And. Um, my first time I brought a soccer ball to school at a show and tell, they told me to take out of the class and serve in the class. Now everybody's playing soccer. <laughs> <laughs> like nobody knew what was going right, on. Right, right, yeah. I remember in the 70s we tried to get soccer going, but it's really going now, you know? It's and, me. And, and the way the kids start playing and, and the travel teams and all that. But let's talk about the Nichols program in general. You, you've been one of them. I don't want to say only, but one of the main supporters of, of Nichols soccer. You just felt a calling for that as being part of the program? Well, I started co uh, as a head coach in 1981 when, when I got into the car business back in 81. And I started uh, 81 to 89 as a head coach. I had eight seasons, two losing seasons of the first four games of the first two years. And they called me and Don Landry says, if you don't win, you got to go be my <laughs> So I won six, games, six years in a row. Well, you needed a little pressure. Yeah, right, it's a little, a little pressure. <laughs> And uh, so, so Lester, same 2010. So Lester, you bring it in soccer because that was because because you were now it's cool to be international that you were ahead of your time because you know your background Trinidad and all that yeah. right right. He well, was ahead of his time team, here. So I got involved as a little kid. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And a cricket team and a soccer team. I mean, never the cricket, but yeah, British baseball. Yeah. yeah. Trinidad. I'm from Trinidad. The British colony. Well, right. Right. A lot of people don't know how I got here. I saw the swim. How do you think I got here? <laughs> I can swim. <laughs> <laughs> well, Trinidad and Tobago obviously have a real good soccer tradition, too. They right. beat the United States a couple of years yeah, ago. Yeah, back to the World Cup. Right, like right. It kept us out of the World Cup yeah. when they did. But, but let's talk about Nichols. And, and how do we turn the corner to get that program going? Obviously, they had a little rough year this year. We're struggling this year. I hate to tell you this. We finished one seventeen and one. One. Yeah. That's a girls' team, not the boys. My brother, Roger Beamer, was the first girls' coach. He's a coach at E.D. White now. Anybody with 10, 15 years at D.D. White. But we're doing some uh, recruiting. We're trying to get some international kids to come in. We need a couple of local girls. We have four local girls on the team from Oma. we from Vanderbilt and one from Terrebonne starting off, which is really good players. But we need international players, a couple. 
Well, and, and that's what I, was, I guess I was going to ask you, because we do have some nice little programs around here since LaFouche has been good. Obviously, Vanderbilt's always mm -hmm. playing. That's good. You get, you know, St. Thomas Moore is always a, a good program from South Louisiana. But but you need maybe more of that international flair. Yeah. I, even in softball, we have good softball here, but a lot of times they got to bring Texas, Oklahoma right. kids to, like you all, Lafayette stuff. Honestly, the international kids are good, but they, they can't run. They're slow. It touches, they can touch a ball, they just can't run. So I'm, I'm having my coach look into Dallas and California. Dallas got a lot of plays in Dallas, lots of plays in Houston. Right, there's area. metro Texas, leagues, right? Big time leagues, yeah. And, and they play all year long. All and, year. And they play. Uh, but, yeah, that, that's kind of where you got to look and, 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 and mix them in with the players mm -hmm. around here. That's what I did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and that, that seems to be a, a good way. Right. Now, men's soccer, we, we're never going to do that again, huh? No, that's the probably title not. I never know what, you know. No, we just got $8 million from – and McGee the state, uh, Louisiana, to build a new softball locker room and a new soccer locker room. So it's, it's huge for Nichols. Yeah, how, well, how big a difference will that make? No, oh, it's huge. The more locker room space, more, more restrooms, more, more lockers and better facility, turf field. Yeah, and they right. treat treated like a real program, yeah, right? I mean, and right now they just kind of over in that field. And but we play at a hospital wellness center, which is a beautiful field, but it's not home. Right. It's I want beautiful. to play at home. Right. Well, let's talk about Nichols in general. You you satisfied with the way the football season's going? The Great season. Big game this weekend. They caught a word in, in San Antonio, number four in the nation. Then we come back home for Hall of Fame game and then Southeastern. Right. So we could win the conference. Yeah. So that close. Yeah. No, they got it. They got it going again. You know, right at the beginning, they played Tulane. You're going, oh, man, what's going on? But then they got it really rolling. And, <laughs> and they're in great shape for the South. Right. All right, Lester, well, congratulations again. Uh, you've been a Hall of Famer for a long time, Thank so you. I'm still, still new to me, so All I'm right. good to do it. All right, uh, back to you guys. Oh, actually, we'll be back with more sports on the bike. Right after a short break, Stan Bravo in his prep football roundup. Selecting an insurance provider for your business is a big decision. With over 26 years of experience, our offer team is your solution for quality and proven coverage. The customer service you remember from years ago is what we pride our team on. We know how important your company is to the community. From small businesses to large businesses, Alford & Associates can manage your insurance. It's our job. Alford & Associates, benefiting your employees and protecting your business. The new generation of Hondas are here at Barker Honda. The all-new Accord, head of his class, miles ahead. All-new 2023 HRV and CRV. And Pilot, built for every driving need. Family favorite Odyssey has all new trim levels. Go everywhere with Passport. And the award-winning Civic. The generation for every generation. And always remember, it's better at Barker. <laughs> Sports on the Bayou is brought to you by St. Martin and Bork Attorneys at Law. Know your rights. Alford and Associates for all of your insurance needs. And by Rouse's Markets, official supermarket of the New Orleans Saints. Now, back to Sports on the Bayou. Still can. Leave now before Master finds you. <laughs> A Tom B. Smith and Homer, it looked like it would be all terrible, no Batidado. The Tigers from Homer scored their first 21. Batidado put a wicked spell on the Crimson team, coming back to score 26 unanswered. To go high wins it in the upset, setting themselves up for the playoffs. Final score 21 to 26. <coughs> and it was South Lafouche terrifying the Ellender Patriots. The Tarpons put on a spine chilling display as they massacred the Patriots. Final score 50 to 7. <laughs> and other scores from the Nether regions. Assumption spooked Vanderbilt to take the 7 for a title. South Turbone possessed HL Bourgeois. E.D. White was merciless against Sam Houston. Hardbill put a blood curling beating on Central Lafouche. Vermilion Catholic was repulsive against Central Catholic. 
Nutter opened up a can of greedy against Morgan City. Homer Christian had an unearthly experience against Thomas Jefferson. Jim Ray got a howling win against Coven Christian. And Destrahan remains mystical as they defeat you, St. John. Destrahan is your District 75A champion, and they'll be joined by East St. John, Thibodeau, and Terrible in the Division 1 playoffs. Assumption is your District 74A champion. They'll be joined in the playoffs by Lutcher and Vanderbilt. And South Lafouche, if they could get a big win over Vanderbilt this week. In a monstrous game, it'll be E.D. White against St. James for the District 8-3A title on Friday night. Donaldsonville, Patterson, and Burlett will also all make the playoffs. South Plaquemine is your District 9-2A champion. Homer Christian and Jefferson rise in the playoffs also. And finally, Vermilion Catholic is your 7-1-A champion. Central Catholic, Jennerat Hansen, Centerville, and Homer Christian all will be in the playoffs. And from all of us at Sports on the Bayou and Terrebonne General Health System, we wish you a spooky Halloween. And we have had star-studded tables before, but I don't think we've ever had a star-studded table athletically like this table we have today. I'm going to talk to Sean in just a little while, but I want to introduce everybody at the table. First, when you think of H.L. Bourgeois High School and all the great athletes, the Jesse Miles, Mitch Andrews, people like that, I don't know if there are better athletes than two we have here today that played at H.L. Bourgeois. Rainey Davis, who is sitting on the end, a 99 graduate, who I know when I was coaching at South Terrell, we did not want to play H.L. Bourgeois. We did not want to see Rainey. Just a great athlete. And Sterling Washington, a terrific athlete there. His two sons went on to play Trey and Trent on the collegiate level. So very happy to have them here. Andrew Cayouette is the athletic director there. He played at Nickel State University basketball. His son Drew played at Nickel State University. And then a guy that is hard for me to introduce him because he's the best athlete, in my opinion, I ever saw come out of Terrebonne and Parish. And Amen. <laughs> and that skip is Thomas Skippy Ezel. Skippy was a few years older than me, and we, were, we didn't want to go out for football because we'd have to run the passing lines with Skippy, and he'd hurt us when he <laughs> threw the ball to us. But uh, it, the only thing that's a little hard for me now is that Skippy is actually coaching at HL Bourgeois, and that all South Terrebonne graduates kind of... We get a little demoralized when we hear that, but obviously. <laughs> and I know Bobby talks about Skippy all the time. Well, uh, uh, Skippy Ezel, not only Terrebonne and pra uh, Parish, or you look at the, uh, uh, you know, the parish, you know, locally, Hall of Fames and all that in Deep South. In the state of Louisiana, one of the greatest high school quarterbacks ever. Skippy Ezel, everyone knew about Skippy. And the year we won state, we played South Terrebonne and homecoming, and we freaking lost. We lost to South Terrebonne at South Lafouche the year we won the state championship in 1977. And I'll tell you, the reason why we lost was because of Skip Ezel. Amen. <laughs> and listen, <laughs> this guy was a terrific athlete, and this guy has two sons who are terrific athletes, Sean Preston. And I know it's, we got Sean in the week. Alabama's playing LSU. You would figure, right? So Sean's <laughs> oldest son, Sean Jr., leads Mississippi State in interceptions. Unfortunately, he was disqualified in the LSU game because he made a terrific tackle, which we were all sitting there going, that's a great tackle. But I guess he got his helmet a little yeah. bit too low in there somewhere. <laughs> right. Nonetheless, having a great season. And as Sean is kind of moving out, here comes Shaz, who is at Alabama, wide receiver for Alabama, who's a red shirt uh, uh, freshman there. For, I have to ask you the logistics of the last couple of years for you and your wife. It's got to be crazy. It's been crazy. <laughs> uh, it takes a lot of planning. Uh, wife does a good job, and, you know, we have a schedule for the year. Uh, the family's informed of the schedule, and we kind of make it work. Uh, when there's an 11 o'clock game in one location and a 6 o'clock game in, in the uh, other location, they're both at home, we're able to make both. Had so some really good moments when they played each other, too, in the last couple of years. Yeah, last year, um, you know, Shaz kind of got in the game late, and there was a viral moment that took place between, between him and his brother that was all over the Internet, and that was a special moment. So most importantly th thing that I wanted to mention, 
Sean is assistant principal at H.O. Bourgeois. He's been in education for years, affecting lives, and I think that's really special. A lot of people didn't realize that those two young men, their dad is right here at H.O. Bourgeois High School as assistant. Can't go with asking you your thoughts on the game this week. LSU against Alabama, your son against, uh, you know, the, the, the state flagship school. Well, before I answer that, because I'll probably get some booze after. But, <laughs> you know, I'm just excited to be here in Terrebonne Parish. You know, I'm glad Mr. Ogeron gave me an opportunity on my back end of my educational career to come in and uh, with all of the guys in our area that's doing great big time football. Uh, you know, I'm just happy to be here, especially towards the end of my career. And I'm having a blast at HL. Um, this weekend is going to be a hell of a game. Um, I was telling you earlier, they're so excited about me coming up, cooking some jambalaya and bringing some, uh, <laughs> some meat from Bajrons and Buddha. different things like that uh, for the big party. Um, I think it's going to be a one-score game. I think it's going to be a high-scoring game. It's kind of going to be like it happened in Baton Rouge last year. I think the last person that touched the ball is going to win. Coach, Very one good. of the things you involved early on, seven on seven. Yes, sir. And how that has changed the world. We've seen all these athletes, you and I have met different times. Yes, sir. All these tremendous athletes here from the Bayou River Parish going against one another and how that has really changed the world. We didn't right. see a lot of recruiters here years ago. They there now. Right, nowadays, I mean, our kids, I mean, they get the rub elbows with the kids from, from California, the kids from Florida, and then they move on to the next level. And they realize those kids are built just like us down here in the bayou. Uh, you know, sometimes they, they realize that we're a little tougher. And I think it's been a, a real, real good situation, for especially the kids in our area. Well, uh, I, I don't know who your wife is having to witness her or, 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 or see how she looks. Be thankful but, that. But, 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 oh, I, but, but I take the approach of Coach O. Mm -hmm. That uh, you got these stud high school players, the future players, you always want to meet the mama. Coach Owens came oh, by all yeah. the time. Oh, 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 okay. oh, yeah. And then all of a sudden, okay, uh, you know, you like the dad and your background and all, but okay, let me see the mama. <laughs> and uh, it's amazing that uh, recruiting technique, how it works. Uh, that, that another, if, if the mom is kind of, I don't know, little, whatever, like, oh, okay, I don't know, maybe he's an overachiever, whatever. It's not 100%, but I'm telling you, if that gene pool and your mom is involved and you look at it, oh, I like, well, she looks, I like her. Yeah. That, 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 that's some good stuff. And you got to recruit the mom before the dad. That, 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 that's, some good that's, that's some good He's stock right there. He's hurting me. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, we, we, we certainly wish both of the boys the best of luck this weekend. HL Bourgeois doing some great things. Glad to have you all here. Best of luck in all of the sports endeavors the rest of the way. Thank you all for having us. Don't fall asleep. When we come back from the break, Chuck Bork with his What's Up, Chuck segment. Every day, thousands of people hit the road heading towards their dreams. But sometimes those dreams collide with a harsh reality. Auto accidents with 18-wheelers can change lives in an instant. That's why you need to experience and expertise of St. Martin & Bork. With over 50 years of experience, St. Martin & Bork have fought for justice for the victims of truck accidents. If you've been in a wreck with an 18-wheeler, know your rights. Call St. Martin & Bork today to schedule your free consultation. Terrebonne Church's United Food Bank. Sports on the Bayou is also brought to you by our corporate sponsors. South Louisiana Bank. It's better when we bank together. Terrebonne General Health Systems and their Community Sports Institute. Barca Honda, the Barker family tradition of quality. Terrebonne Church's United Food Bank. And from Lafouche Parish, Louisiana's Cajun Bayou. Now, Back to Sports on the Bayou. We're back here on Sports on the Bayou. It's our What's Up Chuck segment. And uh, so we're going to get Chuck in. Chuck uh, is uh, coordinating, supervising in the big city, but uh, I know he's always ready with a question. Okay. Chuck. I am ready for today. Um, I hope everybody can hear me. Sorry I'm not there in person, uh, but I didn't want to miss the fun and excitement. And I got to tell you, the little taken aback I saw when I saw on 
was that Josh came there then. He was abused completely by Bobby before we started, but um, Rich, uh, um, you left me a little speech. Well, uh, coming from a lawyer, I think that's a hell of a compliment. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, it's really saying something. <laughs> not all speeches, but um, with that being said, let's jump into what we're going to talk about today. So I've got Bobby a couple of shows ago. I got Rich last show. Somebody was still that left out. Underappreciated. Mike, this this one's for you. Um, we've all been we've been following the college rankings all this week. I mean, all this year, and they go all around. Tonight we get the first BCS rankings, and we got four of undefeated. We got five undefeated right now. We got Ohio State, we got Alabama, we got Michigan, we got Florida State, we got Georgia. Um, how bad do you think uh, Harbaugh's feeling is going to get hurt at that five man? And if we're at the schedule and all that, I see a real good chance of that happening. And I throw it out to you, Mike. What do you, what do you see coming out tonight? Yeah, I, I think Georgia's going to end up being number one. Now, if you ask me who's the best team in college football, I'd say Michigan. So I think Georgia will be number one and Michigan will be number two. And just my eyes tell me Florida State is a better team than Ohio State. Just my eyes tell me what I've watched. Yeah. Florida State is a better football team than what Ohio State has right now. Well, uh, the Chuck, wouldn't you say, and Mike, uh, that, and Rich, whatever, y'all can all chime in, that LSU still controls their destiny? They Think do. Think about this. They if do. they beat Alabama – and you'd win the West. I don't know what's going to happen with Ole Miss. Uh, I, I mean, it'd be interesting to see them and A and M. What's going to happen? I think but, they beat A and M this week. I really uh, do. Uh, but wait, but Mike, it could be almost um, if they can win the SEC West and you beat Georgia. How can you not be in the Final Four? That oh, I, 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 I agree with that. Appreciate it. We'll be back with more sports on the Bayou. Don't fall asleep now, because when we come back. I'll give away an award to someone who's in the audience on my stay to play segment. Here at Rouse's, we have our own brands of products, which you'll find down every aisle of our stores. These are the best quality at the best price. They compare to the national brands we sell, but at a lower cost. Most are made right here, but we travel the world too. And we personally taste test and guarantee every item. So if our name's on the label, you can trust it's good. Rouse's brand, best quality at the best price. Terrebonne General Health System is the largest healthcare resource in Southeast Louisiana, offering a high-tech and high-touch style of healing. World-renowned services include cardiology, women's health, cancer care, and a healthy lifestyle center. This is a true calling for all the physicians, nurses, and staff who make up our proud Terrebonne General family. We are here to provide health care for our community. To discover more, please visit tghealthsystem.com. Sports on the Bayou is brought to you by Alford & Associates. For all of your insurance needs, Rouse's Markets, official supermarket of the New Orleans Saints and St. Martin and Bork Attorneys at Law. Know your rights. Now, back to more Sports on the Bayou. We're back here on Sports on the Bayou. It's our stay to play. And so, Martin, you got it, brother. We got some stuff to give away today. We're going to start Terrebonne Churches United. We are raffling off a car right now, 2005 Mercedes convertible. Spud drove it. If he didn't burn up the engine, it's probably still in pretty good shape. Yeah, but, <laughs> up and down, cruising on the coast of that bad ride, I felt like James Bond. <laughs> 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 All right, so Jennifer Hollihan's with us, Terrebonne Churches United. And let's get a shot, if we can, of Terrebonne Churches United's table. And uh, we're going to let Jen introduce everybody before we push the magic button. We got okay, the number one we have here. John Spud McConnell. Yeah. We, have Pe right. <laughs> we have the monk today, uh, Miss Peggy Bowers, <laughs> Miss Daisy Sheremy, <laughs> Miss Gina Lerett, and Miss Debbie Umbehagen. All right, so real quick, Jen, who's the community relations director, tell us 
what we're doing and how this all came about real quick. Okay, so we're raffling off. Um, all the proceeds go to the TCU Food Bank to help give back to the community. Um, it's a 2005 hardtop convertible Mercedes, and Martin is about to push the button to see who won the car. So as soon as we... Um, yeah, no, you don't have to be present no, to win because they no, got tickets all present. over. <laughs> oh. But if somebody wins it in here, wouldn't that be great? Yes. Especially if yeah. it's me. <laughs> hey, 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 Martin, we can make that happen. <laughs> so all right, I'm, here we go. Let's get it on the yeah. screen. No foul play here. Yeah, yeah. Parish no president's here. He'll have me arrested. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. Just got to right, get this Martin. button. Yep, that's what you Choose got here. Random. Choose random. See, this so that's our winner. Where's the winner? Right here. All right, the winner is Bonnie Laparus. So you, are y'all going to contact here? Bonnie? Yes. But you got to be related to Hebert. Yeah, that's my cousin. It's a cousin. got to be a cousin. Bonnie Laparus. Bonnie Laparus. All right, very good. Do Bonnie's we know that person? I don't know. Yeah, we'll yeah, everybody know that know, person? Well, that's a, uh, Anybody know Bonnie? Bonnie? Who that is? You do know who that is? It's legit? Is she single? <laughs> is she single? <laughs> How old is she? Is she, is she single? She? What's her address? <laughs> yeah, the, 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 Does she double date? <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. Y'all give Terrebonne Church right. and United a big round of applause. Thank you, Jim. Thank we you. appreciate it. Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to get Skippy. I'm going to get Skippy's L. I'm sure glad me and Harry were sure glad we went to 12 year old pump pass and kick <laughs> when he was 13. Because oh, that, we would have never advanced. I promise oh, you that. That's another thing. Skip on, Skip. Ezel, you remember that? Did they still have punt pass and kick? Did they even have Yeah, they back when we would have do. Okay. Uh, he threw over well, the tape. Uh, this is a living legend, punt pass and right kick. Here, uh, being a national champion. Wow. He won. That's impressive, yeah. Oh, no, no. He threw over the tape. They had to move the tape. <laughs> it's no lie. Yeah. Me and Harry didn't do that. <laughs> All right, Skippy, you're going to spin the, get your raffle tickets. Joni's going to come up. Joni and Darla put together some nice boo baskets, they call these things. How do you like that? Who's going to win this? we got two of them. Man, you ain't got to turn that thing 30 times, Skippy. <laughs> you waiting for me to say stop? Yeah. Bobby Edman was waiting for you to do that. You see the year, too. Oh, my pocket's way down there. Nice, Skippy. Pull that so I can get my hand. Grab one. One. Here's the first winner. Rich, what are you doing? I'm trying to get my ticket out of my pocket. Did the chicken get out of my zone, please? It looks like I'm grabbing his butt. I'm like... <laughs> Skippy, read it in that mic. Can you see you need some glasses? No, I got it. What's that number? 595-646. Pull that, pull that. that oh, somebody from Ross. What? It again? <laughs> this is a, she told me the last time she won that she has good luck. I'm beginning to believe her. <laughs> Wow, that's, that's incredible. <laughs> All that rich and you still ain't wooly. <laughs> Come on up. Well, hey, hey I'm going to buy set. some lottery tickets at the Phyllis Act this afternoon. Are you coming with me, all right? All right. <laughs> so, wait, she's won this time? twice? Yes. Time. yes. She did. Yes. Man, the, the bottom line is you work at Rouse's, you win a raffle. That's exactly right. <laughs> <And a co> <laughs> all right, Skippy, we're going to pull one more. I'm gonna get the whole box. I thought you were giving them out one at a time. Well, we got two of them. Oh. I know oh. at Penn State you couldn't count real well, but that's okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I never made that class. What was it called? Mathematics? Nice giving. Okay, nine five five six four one. Oh. You serious? <laughs> well, wait. Oh, oh that's Darla. a second winner too. Darla, you that's put the baskets winner. together. <laughs> All right, hold on. Here we go. Y'all right, uh, forced me to do this because one of my employees won the basket that her and Joni put together. It's getting to be an expensive so show. So I'm going to put $100 on the next ticket. Oh, How about that? Oh, wow. $100, $100 cash. All right, this, this is the one we want. Now wait, Skippy, I just want to let you know if you pull your own ticket, you can't win it. You know that. <laughs> This is the, uh, the ultimate uh, treat instead of a trick. Yeah, right. right. Here we go. Mom, Big Ben. Five, nine, five, six, eight, seven. Oh. oh. 
Do we have a winner? Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be somebody in the control room because nobody's raising their hand. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, I'll say it again. They're, they're laughing. We got to pick again. Five, nine, five, six, eight, seven. Jack. Jack oh, won it. Jack. Jack. Mr. Jack. Yay. Hey, Jack. Wow. Hey, Jack, I'll bring it hey, to you. Hey, Jack. Jack, I'll see you at the coffee shop, and if you don't buy me a cup of coffee, I'm taking it back. <laughs> All right, there you have it. Skippy, you brought Jack. Good luck. That's my homeboy, man. That's your homeboy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Same right. street, man. Get you sure home. you didn't have that thing marked? <laughs> That's awesome. That's good. All right, there you have it. Some good raffles. And uh, you gonna be in have y'all called yeah, Miss Lapperoo? She knows she won yet? On the radio? That's a good deal. She knows she won? Did you reach her? You know, if she doesn't know, we could always pick again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. All right. We'll be back with more sports on the Bayou. That's awesome. Coming up, a look at next week's game. Selecting an insurance provider for your business is a big decision. With over 26 years of experience, our offered team is your solution for quality and proven coverage. The customer service you remember from years ago is what we pride our team on. We know how important your company is to the community. From small businesses to large businesses, Alford & Associates can manage your insurance. It's our job. Alford & Associates, benefiting your employees and protecting your business. Cardiovascular Institute of the South is celebrating 40 years of delivering health care to our patients and communities. Founded by Dr. Craig Walker in 1983 and guided by a mission to provide the highest quality cardiovascular care available, CIS has pioneered hundreds of firsts to improve outcomes for cardiovascular diseases. Through new technology, virtual care, outpatient procedures, and national growth, CIS is improving lives and leading the way for advanced care and innovation. Sports on the Bayou is brought to you by Rouse's Markets, official supermarket of the New Orleans Saints, Alford & Associates, for all of your insurance needs, and St. Martin & Bork Attorneys at Law. Know your rights. Now, back with more Sports on the Bayou. Happy like Halloween, everyone. We'll be back next week with another version of Sports on the Bayou. Who that? 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 We'll see you next week on Sports on the Bayou.